Marana, Arizona, a town built upon a tradition of pulling together to help each other. In the cotton fields, on the ranch, community construction projects, and fighting hunger. This is the story of the Marana Community Food Bank, the clients they serve, and the partnerships that feed the heart and soul of the community. You know, the stagnant times, if you don't have any help, you know, things can get really lean. I mean, I can go hungry, that's fine. But my, my children couldn't, can't go hungry. About one in six people in the United States are considered to be food insecure, unable to determine really where their next meal might come from. In southern Arizona, it's closer to one in four. One in four children in southern Arizona are hungry. But you'll be lucky if you get snacks. Or do you not bring snacks? My favorite, my favorite food and fruits are um, watermelon, pears, peaches. A common misconception is that um, people are, don't want to work. Many of them hold down one, two, three jobs. So I realized that the need was real, the need was great, and, and that I could help. Engineers, um, we have had nurses, uh, we have people that kind of been at the top, so to speak, and, and find themselves then at the bottom looking up. It is actually very difficult for most people to come and ask for this type of help. Um, sometimes embarrassing, sometimes I'll be shy, and sometimes I'll get frustrated, frustrated probably, and sometimes I'll be really happy. Amongst those 3,000 families, there are about 4,000 children in the, that are, have food from the Marana Community Food Bank in their homes. About 25% are seniors, and about 40% are people who are working, have jobs, but just aren't making ends meet. John service, was in the Air Force, then went Army Reserves. Had a couple of kids, had two girls. Now I'm raising grandkids. I adopted three of my grandsons. Now that I have uh, retired, I, I don't have much of an income, and I think the food bank is, uh, it, it really helps me and my wife out an awful lot. Nobody chooses to be hungry, but we can choose to help those who are hungry. This is the greatest volunteer venue I've ever had in my life. It's a give back. I've had a good life. I've been very, very fortunate. And it's, it's a give back to people who are in need. And the volunteers, the, they completely blow me away. We're, we have only five staff people at the Marana Community Food Bank, but we have about 130 active volunteers. I work originally as a, the driver here, picking up our retail donations. Uh, we picked up at about 11 different stores. So I was a client, and I decided to volunteer because I wanted to give back. And that's when you really see a need for help. Could see anywhere from 150 to up to 300 come in a day. It works out to about a client every minute. Each client, depending upon the size of the family, is entitled to a TFAB bag. It consists of cereal, fruit, vegetable, and a protein, and a carbohydrate. And that's basically how the, the operation works. Thank you, Clemente. Have a nice Thank day. you. Gracias. The food bank really helps out a lot because they do provide good, nutritious food. I'd probably go hungry without food from the food bank. So working with the staff and the volunteers and the board members at the food bank, we're working with, with it's like working with top level executives. They're professionals. They know exactly what they're doing. We're also looking at opportunities to expand our reach by serving folks who perhaps can't come to the food bank. And out here, there's no public transportation, and we have a lot of people that just don't have cars. They come here, they'll get a friend to get them, and the friend says, oh, I don't have enough gas to get to Marana, but I can come here. A lot of people have heard of the numbers we do, the number of clients we see, um, but then they come out here and they see just the space we're working with, and uh, just amazed at how we're able to um, keep everything organized, keep everything rotated. The biggest challenges I see for the Marana Community Food Bank are primarily space. We're in a 2,700 square foot warehouse and we've completely maximized our ability to expand within the confines of this building and our 10 parking spaces. The growth is just, it's, over, it's overtaking the place. You know, people that were volunteers have become employees. 
you know, and they've grown up and helped to help. They love this place. And that's what this, this whole community thing is about. You know, it's loving where you're from and loving the people around you and helping them out. But we need help with that. I guess if you summed it up in a couple of words, what's the Marana Food Bank? It really is a oasis out in the desert. I think it's the heart and soul of the community. It keeps me healthy, alive, and, and uh, sure helps my family. The Marana Community Food Bank is an island of hope for people who are drowning. The Food Bank's continued success is dependent upon new partners donors and volunteers. The Marana community can do it, but your help is needed. Become a partner with the Marana Community Food Bank today.